I cannot think of more managers who had such an influence in the game as Marcelo Bielsa have had. Add him in the same sentence as Johan Cruyff of Ajax and, and Barcelona, Arrigo Sacchi, who was crucial to Milan, winning lots of titles in the 80s. Footballers, coaches, journalists recognize him as a, as a spokesman of, of, of lost values in a sport full of hidden agendas and, and interests. But then he admits that he has spied on, on teams. Infinidad de veces que esto no permite ganar partido. I didn't know loads about him initially. There was definitely a sense of like it was a shock to everyone's system that he'd come in and he'd really like changed everything. No one's really as thorough in detail, I think, and the detail that he goes into is like a normal person would think, wow, that's actually obscene, but it kind of makes sense as to why he's so good. You've got uh, people like Pep Guardiola who has admitted that he's the best coach in the world because I think Pep Guardiola is trying to say, reflect on success and what success is. Bielsa hasn't won a lot, but he is successful in the eyes of Pep Guardiola. The fact that he got all the boys litter picking, I think not many managers have made you do that and it was kind of to teach, teach the lads and teach the team that we've got to appreciate what kind of um, privilege we have. He tried to show us that, uh, that we even we, if we're a football player, we need to hard work. We need to work hard for, the, for everything, and uh, we, we have to clean our training ground. Marcelo Bielsa is called in Argentina, El Loco, the crazy man. Why? Well, for instance, one day he actually got a grenade and threatened to throw it to some of the New Soul Boy fans that were complaining, but he's not crazy. Even though he will tell you that there are eight ways of crossing the ball, there are 11 ways to shoot on goal, 17 ways of defending and 36 ways to pass the ball. Is that crazy? I'll leave for you to decide. I think you kind of see him as a little bit awkward and strange and not really, you know, you don't really know how to take him. He's not really a hands-on, like he doesn't get too close to the players personally. But when I scored, I've never seen him run before, but he's running from the halfway line and giving me a hug and I stood there and I was like, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> so it was a bit awkward, but it was funny at the time. Now the perfect game for Bielsa is one in, in which he's got 100% control of everything that happens, but where everything is so exciting. They're going to see a very fit team, a team who likes to pressure high and uh, run a lot. When the ball goes out for a throw-in, the throw-in has to be come out quickly. The free kicks have to go quickly. They call it Bielsa ball, don't they? Like just, just really going at teams and closing them down and not sitting back. That's, in a way, very Argentinian, very Bielsa. But if you think of it, it's very English as well, isn't it? Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.